Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on counting the number of unique numbers and the number of unique values using Microsoft Excel. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have in this Excel worksheet fictitious data I'll be using for this example. I have 15 cells that I'm using here, B1 through B15. And you can see we have several numbers here and some spaces as well and letters. So first I want to count the number of unique numbers. So moving here to cell F3 I'll start this formula with the sum product function. So sum product. The arguments accepted by the sum product function are arrays. Next, I'm going to move to the if function. And for the if function, we have three arguments, the logical test, the value of true, and the value of false. Next, I'm going to move to the frequency function. And this has two arguments, the data array and the bins array. Both of these arrays are going to be the range where we want to count the number of unique numbers. So that's going to be B1 through B15, comma. Now for the bins array, B1 through B15, same range. This will then it'll be greater than zero, comma. And now we're back to the if function and value if true. This will be one. And then we'll close the parentheses. So this will be sum product if frequency the range b1 through b15 and again after the comma greater than zero comma one that's the formula and that returns value five of course we can see we do have five unique numbers in this range if we have a situation we want to count the number of unique values. This would include the numbers and the letters. So this formula will start with the sum product as well. So sum product, open parenthesis, open parenthesis. We want the range, again in this case B1 through B15, and we want to make it not equal to nothing. So sum product B1 through B15 not equal to nothing. We'll divide this by count if. Count if we have the range and the criteria. So the range will be B1 through B15, comma, and then for criteria, it'll be the range followed by ampersand, quotation mark, quotation mark and close out the parentheses. So it's sum product, the range not equal to nothing, which is quotation mark, quotation mark, divided by count if the range, comma, the range, ampersand, and then quotation mark, quotation mark. This is the formula. And here you see it returns the value eight. And of course we have the five numbers and three letters. So we have eight unique values. These two formulas will manage empty cells. So I included empty cells in this range to demonstrate that. They'll still return the correct values, even with missing data. I hope you found this video on calculating the number of unique numbers and the number of unique values and range to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.